Hey friends, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're finding me for the first time, we are all about easy style for real life here. I share plus size outfits, styling ideas, hauls, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, click subscribe and stick around. Today we're talking about fall wardrobe essentials and staples that I personally just love to have in my life that I can't live without. These are things that I reach for again and again, and they provide me with just so much versatility in my wardrobe. So I kind of rounded up the best of the best that I've been wearing a lot lately um, and some that I've been wearing season after season and we're gonna talk about those today. So let's get into it. By the way, I'm using a new camera. I have like a new ring light. So I've got all this stuff going on that is new and different and hopefully it's gonna translate okay when this is all put together. But if not, I'm working out the kinks. Um, I also wanna let you know if you wanna shop anything from the video, it is all easily shoppable for you. Down in the description box, I have everything linked there for you. If you wanna add it to cart, you can follow me on LTK. That is a permanent place where everything I've ever talked about lives. It's a free app. It's a great shopping app, actually. I use it to shop as well. So you can follow me there. Um, all my socials are down there. So the description box of the video is where you will find all of the most valuable information. And we're not gonna get into the good stuff, which is the clip. All right, starting out with item number one on the list, tunic length sweaters and sweatshirts. Very difficult to say, but easy to wear. I love wearing them with leggings and joggers. Um, you can actually kind of dress them up or dress them down, just kind of depending on their look. So I pulled four to show you. I have try on clips of each of these, but I've got um, three pieces from Target and one from Maurice's. I also really like Old Navy for tunic link things, but Target lately has kind of been killing the game on longer pieces to wear that cover the booty. The Maurice's sweatshirts are top notch. They have side slits. They're so good. So if you love a lightweight sweatshirt, I really do love theirs. Um, the Target pieces though, I have to say they just launched these sweatshirts. So these are a new arrival. And this is just a basic gray that I grabbed in store, but they have several colors also online. So this one from Target is very similar to the Maurice's ones. And I really, really like it. It's a great lightweight, so easy to put on and just throw on with sneakers and leggings. And maybe you could do like a puffer vest or a jacket. I mean, basic is not boring depending on how you want to style it. So, and you can see I kind of wore jewelry with everything. I'll usually have like whatever bag I'm carrying. So you don't have to be frumpy just because you're wearing something comfy. Um, this little zip up number, oh my gosh, this has already been a bestseller for me over on LTK. Everybody on Instagram has really loved this. So classic colors, camel and black, quarter zip. It's absolutely gorgeous. I also have it in an olive and cream color combo. And then it also comes in a solid black as well. And then the beautiful pink Marisa's sweatshirt. This is so fun, especially for holiday. I don't know if you've noticed, but pink is really big for holiday right now. So this one is really fun. It's got some great details on the cuff and right here at the neck. So that's really fun. And the Marisa's ones, like I said, incredibly soft, very good quality, always a favorite. Their holiday ones are also killer. Really love those. And then this is super tunic length. It's actually really long on me. Um, being a little over 5'7", I'm kind of a little bit taller than average. Definitely not petite by any means, not super tall. I'm just kind of right there in the middle. So this comes way far down over the booty, but has a really great mock neck. And even though it is a sweater material, super soft, not itchy in the slightest. They're all great, comfy, and just perfect for the season, a 10 out of 10. All right, number two, duster cardigans. One of my favorite things of all time when I worked in an office, I would kind of dress them up for the workplace. On the weekends, you'll catch me wearing them over, you know, leggings and like a tunic tee. Um, sometimes, you know, you can really take them and elevate them, but you can dress them way down. And I feel like in Oklahoma, if your climate is anything like ours, I feel like we operate in extremes. It's either burning hot or everything's covered in ice. And then in between, you're just like, I don't even know what season to dress for. But a lot of times these can double as jackets for me because I don't need a heavy coat very often. We have like one or two months out of the year where a heavy coat is a must. And then the rest of the time, it's kind of anything goes. So a lot of times these double as outerwear for me. So I know you guys saw, if you watched my last um, in the dressing room at Target, you saw this really beautiful one. This is Ava and Viv. Let me double check. I'm wearing this in a 1X. I feel like it does run pretty oversized. So when you see me try it on, um, I am wearing it in a 1X there and the fit is great. You could probably size down on this one. Ava and Viv always runs really generous, but this is a really nice, thick material. The knit on this is really kind of, it's not super chunky, but it's just a good 
good plush thick knit. And when I first tried it on, I was like, I don't know, I think this is kind of itchy. But as I've worn it over time, it's kind of softer than I gave it credit for. So love this one, beautiful oatmeal color. And then you'll also see me trying on my tried and true, very well loved J. Crew Juliet sweater. Um, or I think they call it like a sweater blazer is what J. Crew refers to this as. This has a wool blend in it. So it actually stays very warm considering that it's not a super heavy knit. Um, this color is beautiful. I used to wear this to work constantly. It is pricey because it's J. Crew, but this is the perfect time of year to catch it on sale. I guarantee you, you can catch this on sale most weekends going into November. So if you don't own this, it's beautiful. It goes up to a 3X, but the 3X runs very generous. So I have this in a 2X and I wore this as a size 26, 28. And I'm still wearing it now. I could probably go ahead and size down, but definitely don't be scared to try this just because it goes up to a 3X. If you are not a 22, 24, you really will be okay. And it is a wonderful wardrobe investment. And then this cardigan, this duster from Walmart, I know I've shared it here on YouTube before. I'm almost positive. It's a really thin knit, but that's kind of what I love about this. This one is super good for layering. Um, if you don't wanna get too hot, if you're still in an area that's having temps, you know, 70s, 80s, this is, a great lightweight duster that you can throw on and it matches with a ton and it's $20. So super affordable, super versatile, but all three of these are things that I wear on repeat as often as I possibly can. All right, number three, black leggings. I own a ton, I also wear them a ton, so I think it all kind of works out. I definitely reach for three different brands, probably the most out of anything else. So we're gonna break those down. I didn't do individual try-on clips because I gotta be honest, on camera, they all kind of look the same. Um, but as far as what I really do love and recommend and feel like are my personal favorites, the Lane Bryant Livy leggings, I think it's just this signature stretch. I'll have everything linked down below exactly what it is for you. But those are just a great everyday legging, but that still has some support. Not a compression legging by any means, but I feel held in, I feel smooth, they don't roll down. And so they're just always kind of a tried and true go-to that I know I can put on and whatever I put on over top is always gonna look really good. I'm doing those in a 22, 24 still, because I feel like the fit is still good. Um, and so they are just probably my top tier everyday legging. And then with Maurice's, that's a more recent discovery for me. I really had never tried their leggings before, but I grabbed a pair that is kind of their everyday like soft legging and there's nothing athletic about them. They don't compress at all. They are your legging that you wear when you're just looking for something that is super comfy, stretchy. There's nothing about them that is going to compress. So they're a great like lounging around the house type of legging. They're so soft. I think the price tag comes in at about $15. So very affordable. And honestly, I like them better than any other budget friendly legging I've ever tried. I will say, I think they run fairly big because I can easily do a two X in them with no problem. Um, I sized up initially to a three and they were much too big. So I would say with the Maurice's ones, the sizing runs really generous, but just a great everyday basic. And then last but not least, I know different people feel certain types of ways about. So if they're not, for you. That's okay. They are for me. It's the Spanx faux leather legging. They do have a higher price tag. They always go on sale twice a year, Nordstrom anniversary sale and Black Friday. So that sale is coming. If you're interested, make sure you mark that down on your calendar, but they are a pricey legging. I have found that they hold up beautifully. I have a pair that I got in 2020 that I'm still wearing today with no issues. They kind of break in like a shoe over time. They kind of relax a little, but they never lose their shape. I love the compression. I love that they can be a little more dressed up. Um, I think a lot of people mistake the fact that like people will say, well, size up, size up, size up. I think people think that you should be able to just like pull them on and that's not how they work. Spanx, everything Spanx makes um, that has that kind of, you know, compression technology in it. You got to work a little bit to get it on. So when you kind of sit down and actually like work the leggings up and pull them up, kind of similar to how you would a pair of tights or pantyhose, you can totally get them on and it's, it's not a big deal. Um, Cause some people are like, well, I can't size up because of the size range. So if that's you just know, if you sit down and actually work with them and get them up and on, they're not going anywhere. So they are a little more um, flexible in terms of sizing than I think people give them credit for. But that's just me, that's just my opinion. You may have had a totally different experience. And if you did, I'm not here to argue, that's fine. Um, but they are a much loved and many times over worn item in my wardrobe that I really do love and enjoy. All right, number four, on the list matching sets 
Oh, how I love a matching set. I feel like they're the best of all worlds because is it loungewear? Is it what you're wearing to dinner tonight? Could be either one. Nobody knows. It's nobody's business. And you can do whatever you want because it coordinates. Like it's just one of my favorite things to wear. Um, always soft and cozy and just an easy way to put something together that you didn't have to put together. And you can really kind of dress them up a little bit if you want to, but you can obviously dress them down. So that's kind of what, kind of what I love about a matching set. So I've got two things here that I am trying on that you'll see. Um, and the first one is a really pretty set that I feel like if you do a casual Thanksgiving, now obviously if you know your aunt expects you to come to dinner in something very formal, this would not work, but some families, my family for sure, very casual. Um, and so this is a very pretty lightweight sweater knit matching set. So you'll see me try it on um, and you'll be able to see it a little bit better, but it does have like a little hood on it. The color is really beautiful. It definitely says Thanksgiving. So Casual Thanksgiving, I think this would be really pretty. It has kind of a wider leg pant. Um, Lane Bryant knocked it out of the park on this set. They also do it in a taupey color, which I'm 110% sure I'm going to be ordering, but this could not be softer and more comfy. I did size up to a 22, 24 on this one um, because it is a sweater knit. I feel like it doesn't show like a lot of lumps and bumps. I don't think it's necessarily hard to wear, but with a sweater knit and me knowing that I have, you know, a lot more going on like in the back and you know, hips, booty, all that. I just thought sizing up would make me feel my most comfortable, but I would say that this is not a super tight or clingy outfit at all. It's very soft and stretchy. Can't recommend enough. And then um, you'll also see me trying on an Old Navy sweatsuit. And Old Navy sweats are something I have recently come, I say the word obsessed. I know it's a trigger word for some people of things that influencers should stop saying, but listen, I mean it. Like I love Old Navy sweatpants. They have been so nice. Um, there's something about the fit that's really special. So I tend to get the ones that have a like classic elastic jogger bottom, but they do make some that are like a little more wide at the bottom. I have a pair of those, I do like them, but this classic style of sweatpant from Old Navy fits a curvy hair-shaped, bootylicious body really well. A lot of other sweatpants, I feel like they cling to my legs, they're too tight, they're ill-fitting, and for whatever reason, Old Navy's just really work well for me. So if you have a similar shape to me and you've struggled to find sweats, give the Old Navy ones a try. Um, and this set, I did with a zip up hoodie. So Old Navy has pullover hoodies, zip up hoodies, like I said, multiple types and styles of sweatpants. And there's tons of them that come in color coordinating um, shades. So you can kind of create your own set based on your preference and your sizing. So like, for example, um, I have an XXL in this cause it runs really, really big, but I have a two X in the sweatpants. So I can kind of pick what sizes I want for each part of the outfit, but the colors still match. It all goes together. And like I said, the fit for me is just next level on these. So I have been wearing my Old Navy sweats a ton, but either way, you can't go wrong. These are fantastic for the season. All right, coming in at number five, last but not least, let's talk about some shoes. I have two styles that I feel like are just the ones that I reach for the most this time of year. And I think you guys have probably seen me talk about this style more than once. I love these so much. These are the New Balance 327s. And this pair I picked to show you because they're the cleanest pair, I think out of all the ones that I have. They have this really beautiful, I call it pumpkin spice. I'm from Oklahoma and someone was like, that's Texas orange. And I was like, no, it's pumpkin spice. Um, these are just, they're really pretty though. I love this color for the fall, but I have these in four different colorways at this point. It's kind of getting ridiculous, but they're just my favorite sneaker. A lot of people ask me, are they wide width friendly? And I would say, if you're getting the women's size up a half to a whole size, if you're doing men's or unisex, you could probably do like maybe just a half a size. Um, I think the men's do have a little bit more of a, a generous fit than the women's. That could all be in my head. I don't know, but I have definitely bought the women's, the men's and the unisex. I own all of those among the four pair that I have. Um, and so sometimes I've done like an 11 and a half. I think I have a pair in a 12. So I usually just do a half to a whole size up just to be sure and just to make sure they're extra comfy. But I have worn these for a long time and I just love them. I'm addicted, I'll say it, it's fine. Um, also the other shoe that I wear a ton this time of year are these little boots. Now these are a look for less to the Ugg Mini. Um, I have tried another brand from Amazon. I liked them. They had a real hefty price tag and I also don't think they're 
they're even being made anymore. You know, Amazon's kind of unpredictable like that. This pair is from Maurice's and they are fantastic. So they have the cushy like lining. Um, they have, I mean, all the same characteristics of an Ugg Mini, but they are doing them for I think under 40 bucks, which is great. And these have been going on sale a lot lately. So also I would say pretty wide foot friendly. I sized up to a 12. I love that they go up to a 12. I don't think I needed to do that. I think I would have been fine in an 11. And I think I've shared with you guys before, my daughter, she inherited my brother's feet and they have a very specific type of foot shape. It's wide, it's not super long. Um, it can make buying shoes really difficult. So we got her these in one size up and she was able to get them on, which is fantastic. So I would say if you have a wider foot, give these a shot. Someone asked me about getting them on. I would say sit down to put them on, use this loop to help pull them up and you'll be good to go. But I love that they also are releasing them in a really bright pink. So if you're a pink girl, I have those on my way to me. I'll have them all linked down below. Um, I love them. I grab for them a ton. These are my go-tos. This is what I love to wear and I'm never giving them up. All right, so that is a rundown of everything that is kind of the best of the best for me, for the things I like to wear, kind of how my life works. That is what serves me so well in my fall wardrobe. But if you have something that you grab for every fall, let me know down in the comments what that is. We all need to know. Maybe we all need to have it in our closets. So share that with us and then just let me know how you guys have been doing. Um, I will have everything, like I said, linked for you to shop. If you have questions about anything you saw here, let me know that as well. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.